you're muted, Tam. That's so embarrassing. Um, do we need more time to update the board or shall we get started? I know Santi will join us when he can, but we know legal doesn't have, uh, really the only thing they're doing the sprint is following the parameters during their updates. Uh, Lydia is still in the TE Academy um, value flow coursework, so she can't jump in. And I'm not sure about Nate or Eduardo, but I sent the messages, so if they see it, they'll probably jump in. Uh, do we still need time, or shall we get started? Maybe I'll start with, um, you know, Zeptimus and Ivy. Do you guys, are you guys ready to go, or do you want some more time? I'm ready. What about you, Ivy? Yeah, I just added one issue, but yeah, we can talk about it. <laughs> yeah, awesome. All right, let's kick it off with transparency. Yeah, we we need to like we like we didn't accomplish two of the issues we had last spring, so they are here again. But mm -hmm. they should be, I mean, they easy, but I mean they didn't get done. <laughs> but yeah, we will work on that. Uh, and then uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I added. Uh, Which added, ones are those? Uh, work on the approach to building the params audit and the uh, comms audit. And okay. yeah, then uh, since we had this uh, call on, on the stewards call, like uh, talking about new roles, we were, I mean, I think it'd be super cool to talk about the, the internal comms we need for, uh, for transparency. And yeah, that's that's something that can just happen on the call and get, gather some brainstorm with the people that's in there. Uh, and then about the, yeah, make the transparency audit a bit thing. That's something also uh, was on a, on a, on one of those calls we do, retrospective calls. And yeah, we should also brainstorm around that and uh, how to, we approach just to get more engaged uh, on the community. Yeah, that's, that's. Okay. What do you mean a big thing though? Like having more uh, awareness of them happening? of yeah. the results that the results are available for review for like everyone yeah i think it's it's kind of related with that internal comms thing like the information is there but like the idea is to make sure like people know it that's what i feel it's missing right now okay all right cool cool um i guess i'll also look at the repeating um, and Ivy, I'll pull in a bunch of yours um, since you're on the call. Ivy, do you have, uh, I know it's quite late there, so I don't know if you're planning to jump off the call early today. Well, late for you. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to make sure uh, you're done. It's, you it's fine. <laughs> yeah, cool. I can uh, move the repeating ones. Oh, it's moved. <laughs> All right, excellent. And um, Juan Carlos, how are you feeling? Are you ready to do gravity or do you need a little, a few more moments? Yeah, I am ready. I think I will continue with some of the issues that we have, that we had last, last sprint, just created one. And I uh, was thinking on, created, on creating another one to like uh, sync with DDAN. Uh, to help me on the two gravity uh, working group calls that I um, won't be able to lead. So the, that is what I'm, I'm going to create. Okay, and which ones from here? So by the way, it looks like Katie took a stab at doing these, um, you know, just short of dis short descriptions for each working group. Probably you only need to approve it and then transparency can update them. I don't know if you want to have a quick look and maybe update it and then. Uh, what what is the name? Or Ivy know. It's what, number what is... 28. Actually, Katie, uh, that... we're working on that issue on transparency call and Katie did a lot of, uh, you know, like she uh, polished all the on the descriptions so i would say i mean one can just go and read it what katie did but i feel it's pretty good so yeah. 
It's oh. almost close, I would say. I, I am not finding that issue. I am really sorry. It, it's on the second it's okay. level. If you, happens to me too. If you just make sure... Yeah, what, what Zephyrmis was saying, it's in the second repo, it's in content distribution. So if you're in TEC coordination workspace, you just want to make sure that both repositories are checked and then it'll come up for you. That was the mistake, sorry. No problem. Okay. Um, so I'm going to bring it into the sprint backlog, but you could probably just close it today. And then um, this goes with D Dan, you mean the survey, and you're going to see if he can cover you. But the survey is coming into the sprint? Yes, yes. Um, yesterday we were um, like um, having the final touches because we we're, we're making hypotheses for each question so that we can uh, have a better, better analysis of the outcomes. And uh, yeah, I think that the issue that is, is named uh, post-hatch um, changes discussion and community support, um, I think that it's something that is being uh, tackled with other activities uh, like the hatch debate uh, parties and uh, the price analysis. So what I am going to do is to be uh, in, in those calls and to offer community support if, if needed. And yeah, I think um, this sprint, the idea is to, to continue and to start distributing um, well the, the survey of, of, of the gravity survey. And and yeah, I, I am going to be talking a, a lot with Didan so that he can like prepare these two se uh, sessions really well for the community. Cool. And then for the one hive in Giveth, are those things that are going to stay in the product backlog or okay? Well, um, like um, in Giveth, I went to the call on Monday, the governance call, and um, I, as as they are such a related community, I offered them that um, they could use the Gravity type form if um, they needed support to manage any conflict. But I didn't um, promote the survey, so maybe on this next uh, call on, on next Monday, I will promote the survey and I will try to be like more um, uh, participating more in that community also to try to normalize and to do the same work that we have been doing here in the TC to normalize, um, like talking about feelings and expressing um, um, like any uncomfortability or, yeah, or and also to normalize talking about conflicts. And um, in one hive, yeah, we, I have that issue there and I am willing to, 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 to yeah, to keep working on that. But I think that um, maybe we, we need like uh, some sort of a push on that because I feel like we have like knocked the door, but um, still haven't like like uh, had the impact that that we want that we would want to have. Yeah, probably it's more like they would come to us if they need it, right? More but than us. What what I have talked and what I have seen is that the um, there is like small issues that happen frequently in the Discord, but like they just let it pass and they don't do anything about it. And uh, Chewy has helped me to like identify some of that moments where like communication is not so mindful, and that there are frictions. But um, the, there hasn't been like a proper approach to talk about what can we do, um, and how can we help with our uh, services and with our intention in that community. So yeah, I think those are in, in backlog and it is related to the uh, gravity outreach. Okay. All right, cool, got it. Uh, Eduardo, should we do a hatcher outreach together? Eduardo? Oh. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> um, so definitely still the impact hour holders. Yes. Right. And then uh, here I just listed the second campaign as well, the vote, vote, vote campaign. Oh, hey, it's probably yeah. a good time to tell everyone that there's the new issue templates were deployed thanks to Vive IV uh, this week. So the default template now has what we looked at last week, you know, what the issue is about, what success looks like, which just means how do you know when it's actually done? Um, who should be part of this advanced process? That's not the right size. Sorry about that. 
Um, and then links are docs related, and who else should be in the loop on this? Let me so, just say, uh, a new it's very engaging. I love yeah. it. Yeah. I yeah. I was creating issues. I'm like, oh, this is a great question. I want to answer it. I want to answer the next one too. I uh, shit. I wanted to be done with this by now. It's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. Okay, um, that's fantastic. Good question. Good question um, regarding the um, the campaign. Isn't isn't that part of the epic of the Hatch Hatch Outreach, or whatever campaign there was, epic, or not? Um, I don't think so. Um, that one. This one, Hatch Outreach. Oh, oh no, it's uh, Hatch. They were not part of this epic action. Yeah, this was specifically for Hatchers. I mean. More, they, it could be technically, it could be if we wanted okay. it to be. But I thought of this as like a short project where we're like, um, the two campaigns really are the vote, vote, vote campaign and the impact hours. And then just yeah. like the criteria for success is, hey, when, every, when we've touched every person that has more than four impact hours and encouraged them to activate their trusted seed, that's success. And then we can keep doing the people less than four impact hours. But I feel like that's a good threshold to, to declare success. We don't have to stop, um, but we have to at least have a goal. Yeah, I mean, um, for me, there is, a, there is another issue um, mm -hmm. that also happened, which I don't know if it's included or not, which is that basically it, it, that one says inform, but um, there is a lot of follow up with these people in the sense of um, getting to them on call to actually then uh, make walk them through or like why is your case happening or why you have this issue or why you didn't apply or box or whatever. So uh, maybe I will just change yeah. the name and inform and follow up rather than just inform, but that's it. Yeah, I mean, you can always do it. I'll do like, um, yeah, sort of like. Perfect. Manage never... this. <laughs> Thank you. How's that? <laughs> Thank you so much. That, that reminds me of a very important update that maybe wasn't well. I was hopefully not going to happen, but there's the memo. I feel like I feel like internal communications is like memos, right? Like memos in '90s corporate America. Anyway, uh, we this memo is really critical. The C stack, the trusted seed application is down. The Swiss membership application is down. It's down. Don't send anyone to it. Otherwise, they'll get a meme, uh, and maybe they'll be yep. like disappointed. So uh, we're working on it. It wasn't supposed to be down this long. We had some problems. Hopefully, it'll get up. This well, let's just like let's just don't get any. Don't if anyone goes. If you send anyone to that DAP this weekend. Expect them to ask them for user feedback. <laughs> like it, it might go up this weekend, and you might be like, "Oh, hey, it's up, cool! I can send someone there." If you send you... them, there, send them with the expectations that, "Oh, we just updated it, and we really need user feedback." If you find anything that doesn't work as well as it should, because we're yeah, please. Can you let us know on the community steward channels when uh, the DAP is up again? Because uh, from from the answer of our late six people that I reached out, they were like, "Hey, I want to pay the membership, but there is a meme there." So, when if you can just let me know when it's up, so I can forward to them, uh, so we can definitely. I'll D up. I'll DM you directly the second that it's up. But, yes, Ro um, Rosa was telling me she had issues trying to pay the membership, and so. So technically, right oh, now. So uh, yeah, if you let me know when. If they if they want, the, now technically they can use the app. It's just going to be really ugly. If and you just put instead of just slash burn, put slash question mark burn, and you'll actually be able to see the real app. We're kind of hiding it. But the thing is, we're an active QA, and it will really. Like, yeah, good luck. It may not work. Why don't we just hold off having anyone do any trickery or hacks and just say we will um, we'll continue outreach for the hatch, I mean, for the impact hours next week. But we still want to do the vote, vote, vote. We can send people to params. We can still talk to people and send them to params. So let's not stop. Let's keep sending out doing the outreach for voting. But let's just once the once the common stack. I mean, once the common stack um, 
activation site is like sweet and nice, we could start mm -hmm. sending people there yeah. again. Uh, but we did burn people's tokens. So the token burn has happened. Okay, the message. Uh, but they still have their impact hours. They can still they can still vote with their impact hours, but if someone didn't activate, they lost their C stack power. Okay. Got it. Yeah, I guess that's what happened to her. Yeah, she okay. Was I just struggling with that process so much. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, cool. Um all right, let's keep going with Hatcher Outreach. <laughs> Um, so this one page of the visual explainer, it's so close. It's so beautiful and it's so close. Um, and the same thing with that one, one outreach one pager, which will be, uh, basically the heart of what that, that, uh, phase one, phase two will be the heart of the stuff that goes around it. Had your average group sessions. I'm not pulling it into the sprint. Uh, they may happen these group sessions, but they also may not with all the other stuff that we're doing, but it's, um, it's possible. If it happens, it's great. But I wouldn't say I'm committing to that. And then Hatch Outreach. Um, yeah, I think I just, I think I'll pull this one in because it's really related to these campaigns. And while I'm doing them, I'll probably be doing some Hatch Outreach as well. Yeah, people that haven't yet, me too. Um, had I, have, I have like three calls already okay. for Outreach. Cool. All right, what do you want to do with proposals on the forum review? Um, well, the, um, I have a session with Wesley to sort of check on, and he gave an update to Grip, so that will probably be incorporated. And I have to, I have a think session with Jessica to see what updates she got from her proposals she was going to wish, the ones that she got into the forum, so that's still happening for next spring. I wonder if we could focus some energy on, you know, when, when you um, mentioned like having a, a community, you know, someone who's deep in the community, I wonder if we could focus some effort and like seeing, seeing like seeing if we could, I don't know, ask, ask around and see if we can find that person, pull them in from somewhere. Maybe we could put some effort on that too. Okay. So do you want me to bring this in the sprint then? Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. There is one um, that I will. There is one else? that I will. I yeah, there is one I will create. I don't know why I have delayed on the call. Sorry. Um, there is one I will create, which is the one for uh, the little goodbye framework uh, for the Hatch Outreach closing thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Please do that. Perfect. Yeah. Cool. That's it. All right, and then if you just drag it when you create it, if you just drag it on the sprint backlog, it'll be part of the sprint. Okay, cool. All right. Um, hey, Santi. Shall we get legal done? Sure, sure, sure. I okay. think All right. we can say this one's coming in. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, let me see what you have here. So our sprint is May 28th to June 10th. Oops. It's uh, what well, we had the meeting uh, on oh, May 28th, June 10th. All right. Okay. Well, we let me update, update you on those because they we can consider they are finished, but we cannot close them because some of those need the parents voting to be incorporated on them. Okay. So we're just waiting for that to happen. So the... Uh, the third party services we're discussing on that we that 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 keeps going we should be able to finish it although we're not going to meet next week we'll meet next Friday, 15 two, two weeks from today just before the sprint uh retrospective or the sprint the sprint planning so we should be able to have that finished by next spring the uh, the uh, the Dandelion voting discussion we we can close that we've had that open but we ended up deciding that 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 doesn't make much sense so we we already decided to close that as it is we're not, not going to discuss on that check it and we yeah we should have that long ago but but it's fine. Then we have the uh, start work on trace, source cred, distribution tokens. Uh, that, that doesn't belong to legal, but we are, we're working on that. But I don't think 
that's a legal issue that that's probably an issue coming from soft law. It can, it, it can be, or, or it's a new one related to legal? It might be uh, one related to legal. Clubs, I think soft club's a good place, but maybe we just create a, a new tag. Yeah, for, just, just to, 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 uh, to analyze the legal right? angle, the legal mm -hmm. aspect of that, yeah. Yeah, we just put it on the next spring. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring that to the table on the next meeting, right? That that's that one six. Uh, yeah, that one. Okay. Oops, I just did the wrong one. Okay. Yeah, we do have source cred already, so I feel like we should just um, we should start using it for this stuff too. Okay. Cool. Okay, and we cool. have to work on the pro the proposal terms is finished. We can just add that it's finished, just waiting for the params to be voted and incorporated. Okay. And you said you guys are meeting on the the tenth. Fourth? Right? No, no, you on the on the eleventh would be the Friday. On the eleventh, right? right. 11th on the eleventh, right. Friday eleventh, okay. right. Okay. So this will be after the next sprint. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, this will be for the next one. Okay. Yeah, and the third party services too. Just move it from the backlog to the, to the next spring. Yeah, that one. Oh, this will be in this sprint? Okay, great. Yeah, this will be in this, in this spring. The work on, on proposal terms, no, because we won't have that voted yet and we won't be able to finish it. Then there is something that we want to start working on, but we can put it on the backlog, create a new issue, which is doing all the legal documents in the in the you know in the in gitbook in the forum just making a final review of everything once we we launch the hatch the um, print should be the print should be decided this spring if they are decided this spring we might be able to incorporate them uh on on the meeting on the 11th so just yeah, move it move, the decision should it be because it just it just um, it's just incorporating them. It's just incorporating them. It, it, it's not you know. The decision should not, be final on Tuesday. Next Tuesday, yeah, mm -hmm. that's when the voting ends. On so, June first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So so like four days. So yeah, we, we have plenty. We have plenty of time until next meeting. Okay. I can just talk to Sean and incorporate them on the documents and then discuss them uh, or have the final discussion on the meeting on the eleventh. Was there any, um, oh, sorry, Tam, did you have more questions on this piece? Uh, was there any updates on the language that we want to use for the- Yeah, we were discussing on that, and we all agreed that probably the best word we can use is send, because it's exactly what's happening. People is sending, because we don't want to, of course, we don't want to use the terms like invest or contribute, but we also don't want to use donate, because actually we don't want to, you know, first, give the impression that they are just throwing away the money. And, and second, when you, when you use the words donation to someone that's not been involved in DC, he actu actually related to a real donation, which is what is, it's not really what the DC is about. So we thought we ended up, you know, just agreeing that probably the best term, the neutral term is sending. Okay. Hey okay, Sandy, around the timing, if the um, if the parameters are going to be ready on Tuesday, do you think that you could switch the eleventh and the fourth? So have the legal working group on the fourth instead of the eleventh? Well, I gotta check with Sean. I, I have no problem. I have no problem switching, but I also have no problem adding those parameters to the documents. That not that I don't need a meeting to do that. Okay, so the documents right, can right, be finished. Point. I just I just want to go over them together, but it's just going to be an easy discussion because the documents have been created, they are already they are all reviewed. It's just putting those parameters there, and Got that that can be done anytime next week. That can that can be done anytime next week. Cool. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Santi. And by the way, uh, um, Griff. Uh, uh, just a second. Um, Chewy was there on the meeting, so he was able to join us on the discussion of the sending word for comms. Great. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's, Don. 
Sorry, I couldn't attend today. I'm really sorry about that, man. No problem. I think we're done, Tam. Cool. Uh, Griff, would you like to do, maybe we start with params? Sure. Because uh, why not? I was just making one for params and I got distracted. But basically, just getting param parties out, I don't even know. It doesn't need to be an issue. It's happening. So we're going to get as many param parties out as we can and uh, and make them as fun as possible and hopefully record some of them. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the idea there. And then uh, the big ones, uh, the, a new one that's interesting to talk about is figuring that Livia actually brought up in a call this morning. It's uh, issue 723, yeah, that one. Uh, figure out if we can cut Celeste from the scope of the Commons dashboard. This is gonna be, Something a decision I really hope is made during this sprint, and it's going to take feedback from a lot of people and probably a forum post uh, about whether or not we use uh, the dashboard to design it, or if we use working groups to de to determine these parameters, uh, just to cut scope from the dashboard because it's too many decisions already for people. Uh, and uh, yeah, the other thing is the design dashboard spec for uh, the ABC 583 at the bottom. That's going in the sprint backlog um, and all the brainstorms. We just, we work, I think, I think, I don't know that they're gonna get done. I guess, I guess they're not, the brainstorming is not gonna get done because it's not a focus. Maybe we'll say, let's try to finish the lockup brainstorm. These other ones, they're just, hap they're just going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. And then um, on prams, I think that's it. Oh, the, the specs. Uh, there's like a couple issues about making specifications. One's uh, by Sam and the other is by me. Yeah, that one. Well, yeah, there's another one that's actually Sam's. Uh, this one is like after Sam finishes his. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's Common Swarm. My bad. It's Common Swarm. So, uh, okay. yeah, I guess that. And this one's good. done. Encourage people to vote with. I mean, yeah. it will, I think we can close it now or we can, uh, you know, we're still going to continue to do that. At least this weekend until Tuesday. All right. Let's bring in. Fair point. All right. Cool. Um, all right. And actually, the There's YGG the ones, I, I don't think that they're going to get done. But man, I really, really, really need him to, to work on that. So um, yeah, it's it's ha it's a lot of these things are going to be happening. Um, oh, that's funny. Well, this is more of a comms one. Yeah. And I actually, I think it's done, isn't it? I think Laura finished it. Yeah, I think this is. Two two. Chewy, does this look like the work that hatched out content for landing page? Is there another this I think another issue for this in um what is a hatched out? How does it work? How can I use it for my community? Where do I start? Maybe Chewy, if it's okay, it I four. will Oh, this is oh, this is the one that you guys have been working on. Okay, I'll just I'll just leave it. It's it's almost done. I think it right. should be closed by Monday. Is there anything in common swarm, Griff? Yeah. Uh, there's that spec one that has Sam's icon next to it. Update the spec to the new test style. Um, and there's the demo, so the dress rehearsal. Uh, yeah, and close all the hatch issues. They're all, it's almost there. I think that will be finished this sprint. Um, I don't know. I wish I knew more about this Livia work, but it's as more of a soft gov thing. Yeah, and I think it's actually also quite old. It was from, from the beginning of April, and it was more like what hatchers will need to do step by step. It might be closed, closable. 
Yeah, I think she and I are going to try to meet on Monday to do some the soft gov planning. And it's probably done already because the next step is fund. <laughs> fund. All right, cool. Um, Chewy, shall we do comms? Yes. All right, so this is uh, always the biggest, ugliest one. I'll just, I'll bring in all the repeating. Um, the SEO, I guess, is still repeating. I know Nate, you yep. joined. I added an expert tag on there. I can. What did you say? Oh, you put an expert tag on it. Okay. Okay, cool. All right, Chewy, what's up? What do we got? Okay. Uh pretty much I, I just missed it i always lose it <laughs> um it's a it's an issue that ivy just oh it's 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 the comms audit actually let me i i put it under the comms label it's ooh. um Okay, here it is. It's uh, six forty-five. Cool. What is it? Oh, the comms transparency. Yep. Yes, we are, we yep. already pulled that into the yeah. Uh, and I I Maybe added we'll uh, on an update there. Uh, and I put it that because it's it's something that I want to work over the weekend, and it's going to solve uh, like the other issues. Are there, other than the issues uh, around content, uh, which we've been discussing in content workshops and, and stuff like this, uh, these, uh, these uh, five things is something like uh, uh, like long time do and, and like one thing pretty much like solves the other one. And attached to this, uh, there are like two other issues. Uh, so I want, to, I want to start this print with, uh, with these issues uh, just solved because it's, it's uh like once we have the the, the content is going to be much easier to uh, keep keep moving forward and so, the, so so i grouped it in 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 these five uh like main points uh and if we if we close this and the other two issues i think there only should be left uh with the current content uh that we are uh, are working on and on top of that, we're going to be able to uh, add like more content uh, already like organized in this uh, in this workflow. All right. So this one is in the sprint backlog, and I see that the scope has been expanded a little bit. But cool. You can also, if you uh, think that it can be pulled out of the transparency working group, make this its own issue. So we sort of track it outside of the 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 audit. Um, and then I, I can't actually uh, assign myself, but I remember that it's uh, that only only one uh, there should be one like one assigned. So so I added the the, yeah. the comms label. Remove me on the issue and assign yourself. I think it's better. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Cool. All right. Just pass to you. Thanks. All right, and then of course there's the you're welcome, and then all the repeating stuff. Um, there is uh, oh this one was just updated. Kai updated this. Is he in here? No. So the forum was down today uh, briefly because it was getting a critical critical fix update and he's not on our server but i'll just close it anyway um okay do we want to do you want to go through what's in the backlog just to see where we are with these maybe we could do some um grooming and close some of these that aren't open or that aren't necessary um like this create a short post about how the tc uses the trusted seed is this something we still need and will we be doing it this sprint? And then who will be doing it this sprint? 
Yes, uh, I started working on something and, and Griff and I uh, hacked on it uh, yesterday. So it's it's also something that uh, we're expecting uh, for uh, to have ready by by, by the hatch. Uh, so yeah, this is this backlog. I think is. Do we want it in this next two week period, though? In this next sprint, yes. will we? Yes, we. Okay. Yeah, it's. Okay. I mean, it's probably the last spring before the hatch, right? The so yeah, I, I'd rather have uh, like everything ready. <laughs> yeah, I mean we're we're using this checklist here to determine the hatch date, really, which is like when when we've when all of the critical things that have to be done before the hatch are finished, and sort of that's why it's I think important for us to line up the things that are here. Um, mainly, really, it's Hatcher Outreach and SoftGov right now that I think have the two. Um, maybe long, t longest, longer term um, thing uh, pieces of work to finish before the hatch. Okay, support T Wells with onboarding module framework. Uh, I guess we could ch I could check with Katie if that's something she'll do. What about find the part of crypto news talk where Griff talks about token engineering? Is this something that gets done this hatch? Should we see if this is something a contributor can do? We mark it for contributors. I, I have some uh, I have some advancements on on that. It's just like since it's like a an hour long video, like I haven't really had the time to uh, like sit down and and work on it. But it's something like yeah, I think the the next print label is is good. I mean, it's something that is not uh, as needed, but it's gonna be good for the channel. So yeah, it's a, it's a matter of finding the the time during the spring. If you don't think you'll have the time during the sprint, is this is this like one of these pieces of work that we could say, hey, a contributor could do this because the scope is so clear. Take this video and cut out pieces of Griff talking about token engineering. Uh, in that way, we can sort of take it off your plate and see if there's somebody in a com our community that would be able to take it on. Or do you want I've to been, keep uh, it on your I've plate? been thinking about that. But yeah, I'll, I'd rather keep it in, in my plate because uh, since Manu has uh, like so, so some people working with him, uh, sometimes these kind of uh, stuff uh, adds, uh, adds up a lot because of how, how, they, how they work. So I'd rather have him uh, be in the, in the interview video and in the animation video. And this is something that I can take care of. I, like I, I hopefully like we can have someone to do this kind of stuff like soon. But so far in, in video editing is just uh, Manu and, and I, as far as I know. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try to keep this uh, off. It's, it's been here for a month or more, I think. Yeah. Should we add to our list of like our wish list for comms a video editor? So, because I know that Katie's yeah. going to try to use this list to, to match skill set with people that she's meeting. Cool. All right. Yeah, um, yeah probably something that is going to help me eventually. OK. Uh, social media YouTube page feature the trend params parties. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't think we did it, but I don't really know what to do with it now since we're at the end of the params <laughs> session. So uh, yeah, maybe we just don't do this. The idea was to put the video where um, where Griff and Jeff and Z and Trent were talking about the params and Zeptimus and myself here on our sort of landing page. While people are voting, they would see the params video and they would see the params discussed. But um, we can close that. Yeah, maybe it, we don't it, do it. I don't know. Is it while, but... maybe something? Oh, it's done. Awesome. It's done. Yeah, it's been it's been done for for a while now. Uh, let me just double check, mm -hmm. but yeah, I uh, I did it like two weeks ago. Um, oh, cool. Okay. We can always change it back, but it's sort of nice if people are coming to see the TEC that that's the first thing they see, since we want to encourage you know people understanding that we're we're select we're community building the economy. Okay, uh, this small medium link one. 
Maybe we'll just leave this off. These little things, it'd be great to like bucket these small little things into, I don't know, uh, I think what, what I ended up with this one. Um, I, think, I think last time we said Christopher might be able to do this. Does Christopher have access to the website to update the website? I thought that was the last recommendation. I'll ask. Um, the why video. Um, yeah, I think it's it's definitely uh, coming at this print. And T. Will's presentation for the TEC, this is done, right? He did this, he finished? Um, it's, uh, I, I think the other issue, the, the one with Katie is more uh, updated than this one. So it's issue number 665. Ah, thanks. Okay, awesome. All right, uh, polycentric governance we'll leave alone. Create a content map for the TC. Okay, so these are these are things that are not um, tagged for next sprint, but maybe since we're doing a grooming session, we could clean up some of these or uh, add things that need to be added. There's also the style guide. I know it came up in um, a call this week. I don't know if we want to uh start tackling that uh i see that katie uh volunteered to help nate i don't know if you and nate uh nate you and katie want to work on this together or if you think it's important enough to bring yeah, it i can talk with you about collaborating on it um yeah it's it's kind of like the content mapping though uh it's just when we do make it i'm not sure if we will know when to use it and how to use it so um yeah I'll talk with Katie and we'll get it done. Okay. I'll bring it into the sprint Actually, just to sort of get up. the initial conversation going. What was that? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I think I, I have a, a little bit of, of delay in the call. Uh, uh, actually, Nate, uh, I, I think that uh, depending on how uh, Acid Laser uh, works out like the whole uh, thing with his current job and and, and like uh, he he's he's leaving that. Uh, probably he could jump on that uh, next week. And he does have a lot of experience with uh, like design uh, guidelines and stuff like this. And I already set up a, a, like a one-on-one -on -one between him and Marco. So probably he could be in in a good place sometime next week to uh, to pick up on this and yeah, take take that uh, out of you and Katie's. Cool. He does editorial as well, because there's like there's the uh, a style guide would have like the editorial style guide, but and then the design style guide. So it would really need both kinds of um, expertise. Is he does he also do editorial yeah. style guides, or is it mainly like design and yes. ID? He's okay. he's more focused in design, but he has experience in editorial as well. Okay, so we will leave it in the product backlog. Okay. Okay. And when will we know when um, you think next week we'll know if this person is available to start working on it? Uh, yes. Uh, this week he was able to be in, in more meetings and the community call. Uh, he still told me that he's uh, figuring out like the last stuff, but, but yeah, since it's like a political campaign, so they're uh, finishing up in, in, yeah, I think next week they're uh, letting him go. So, so I think he could jump into this uh, sometime next week. Uh, I'll keep. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna post a reply in in issue seven oh nine, just to be able to uh, follow through with that. Okay, on the yeah. style guide stuff. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is an interesting topic around um, just like comms onboarding. It feels like Chewy Chewy has a few 
uh, big people coming in. Uh, Acid Laser, Escanore. Um, who else, Chewy? Anyone else? Uh, so so far, so far, I think they're the ones that are uh, like closer to uh, 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 like start uh, start working. And uh, I'm 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 asking like some other people, but it's nothing like uh, formal so far. Uh, but th those two have been like more uh, involved this week, so. Uh, hopefully they can start uh, uh, working soon in 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 a more like a, a, a proper like a time and attending meetings and all of this. Uh, I'm gonna keep uh, looking for contributors. Uh, also using the list uh, that that you put out, Tim. And and if I find anyone, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know. Like there there was a friend supposed to come to uh, the legal uh, working group this morning, but she uh, wouldn't make it in time. Uh, so I'll I'll just keep uh, looking for for people to uh, fill in this uh, this uh, jobs that we need. Uh, so just, and I t had a chat with Escanori, and it sounds like he has some experience with the um, source cred from OneHive, not like direct, but like is was relatively involved. So um, community management around source cred sounded something like he really wanted to dive into that. And then also um, helping out with Twitter strategy a little bit, like understanding the Twitter algorithms and working with Ivy. So it'd just be nice since Santi is here and Ivy is here just to, you know, look out for Escanore. Uh, I think it's L or I Escanore in Discord. And just, uh, you know, when he says hi, say hi. Um, and, and know that he wants to help you guys. Perfect. I'm gonna write to him I and send him your handle. I think he's in Spain. He reached out to me and saying that he's he's in Madrid. I think. Yeah, yeah. Cool, excellent. And um, maybe Ivy can also set up a meeting to to talk Twitter with him in like this. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. And get that started. Yeah, I already I set up a call with the uh, acid laser last week. So uh less than or is news to me. <laughs> I didn't know that he would be uh, he's also interested in that. So yeah, I can uh, call with him as well. Maybe on Monday too, on our Thursday, we can uh include both of them. You mean in, in like you you mean uh, for them coming to our uh, Twitter hack session? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Definitely. Yep. Mm -hmm. And and Chewy, yeah. did I get that wrong? Was Acid Laser supposed to be the your Twitter support guy? Uh, he's he's gonna be helping on on Twitter, but more around uh, like design and and just stuff that gets uh, posted. And Les Canore is more uh, involved in in like community management itself, like uh, algorithms and all of that. So it's, uh, it's. Yeah, cool. I mean, they, they are both going to be working on Twitter, but from different sides. Okay. Let me like get out of the call and 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 back to see if the delay can be fixed. Sorry about that. Okay. All right. Oh, we have this, which is open for a long time now. Improvements to the forum. You know, Eduardo, I wonder what if you're still on. Uh, oh, he's gone. Okay. All right. All right, Chewy. Give it a try. Let's see if there's lag. Testing one, two, three. I think it's gone. Yeah. It seems, yeah. It seems real time. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, Okay, I guess I guess that's it. Is there anything else that comms is bringing into the sprint? Uh, I think I think that pretty much uh, covers it. Uh, there was like issue number fifty three, like somewhere around that, and and uh, also like uh, the epic for the hatch campaign. These are mostly the issues that are gonna be uh, checked once uh, I have everything around the audit uh, delivered. So. Yeah, I think that's it. 
All right, we have some Twitter stuff, like the series oh. about the Hatch TLDR and the series about how to get wrapped X dye. Um, I guess those yeah. you can just manage. All of them. Uh, and uh, Mitch opened these issues, and I already had a chat with him earlier today. And yeah, we'll work on this issues next. So we can add this to the sprint. Okay, cool, sweet. Um, I will just pull in the other um, repeating, so the soft gov. Uh, this is just being tracked by um, the Discord. It's just being tracked by Vi, and Katie shared some good news saying that two-thirds of the people are now um, not getting stuck. <laughs> so uh, it's it's much seems to be better and they're still sort of tracking it to see uh, if if any changes still need to be made or not. Um, dish IH tokens when we dish impact hours. Craig, I'll bring that in for you. I think we're doing it every sprint. Craig is a rock star at this. Oh my God, it was um, amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Well, thank, thank you. Well, well thank you. Um, and then I want to say something. This, um, the swag shop has been really complicated. <laughs> I mean, more complicated than I have ever seen anything be. Um, there's a lot of DNS, like weird DNS things that you have to do for IPFS to work. It's just D shop is very weird, uh, very unknown. So we've actually really struggled to get it up, but the swag shop is now up. Um, what we're missing is like a killer TEC hatch t-shirt to send to everyone when they when they become hatchers. So uh, open call for designs for t-shirts. There is going to be a default t-shirt that's black that says TEC on it, the TEC logo. That's what we're going to be sending to hatchers unless we can come up with an amazing design t-shirt, which would be so great. So uh, please, someone volunteer or volunteer someone you know to design a really cool shirt. Or, I mean, whatever, hat, sweatpants, something neat. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that out there because we're still missing that piece. Um, and that's it. That's our sprint. Let me just have a quick look and see if there's anything we have that's specifically stewardy. Yes, it's this, we're so close to that being up. And I'm going to document it in all of its bizarreness so that we can then um, hopefully find someone who can pick it up from there. I've started reaching out to community, like our community. And the next thing I'll do is go on the protocol, our origin protocols, um, Discord, which I'm on already, and ask for help directly from the people that are in that community. Um, that's it, guys. We did it. Welcome to our sprints. We don't have uh, SoftGov here, but that's okay. Um, just one thing in the retrospective yesterday, I really didn't understand. I think it was the last few minutes and I was rushing and I thought that the two things were the same because it was like impact hour deadline scheduling, but actually what's coming into this sprint is like determining the timeline and expected deadline for the impact hour data analysis that's being done. Cause I think that there's sort of like soft ideas around how long it'll take, but nothing concrete. So probably this will end up falling uh, in SoftGov to to work on to work on the the deadline or like what a reasonable deadline for this would be alongside when we would vote. Um, and that's it. So um, let us wrap up this call with a round circle round with going round robin uh, and everyone, I don't know, share something about what you're hoping to do this weekend. Can, and if you're before, unmuted, so I'll start with you. No, I yeah. You I want to say one last thing. I, I, want, I did always, right? Um, I, I just, we're looking at um, Europe, Europe seems to be opening up and it would just be really interesting to meet in person with everyone. Uh, so I would be curious. We're I'm looking at Paris. There's a conference in Paris at CC, and I mean it's just like initial investigatory like research on if uh, we can all meet up in person and go to this conference. And many of you might even want to speak at the conference. So uh, yeah, just throwing that out there. Save the date. 
And if you want to give a talk in Paris, it's July 20th. Go to fcc.whateveritis.io or something like that uh, and, and apply for a talk. Uh, it might be during the hatch. So it might also just be really strategic also for us to all be there and actively recruiting ha good hatchers and explaining what's going on. Uh, and maybe, yeah, maybe it could also just be like the first time we all meet each other. That'd be super cool. So save the date, July 20th. And I guess I can take it on the weekend thing. Uh, the weekend, I'm flying to Costa Rica and uh, going to meet up with Lauren and Forrest and Dan. Actually, it's mostly Giveth Crew. I guess the only TC person is really Lauren who's there. But uh, it's still very exciting for me. And then hacking on uh, hacking on Giveth a lot this weekend uh, is kind of the goal. And I'll pass it to Wonka. Hey, um, I don't know. I think I'm going to stay in my in my place this weekend. I want to rest, so nothing. Um, I won't be doing anything on Sunday. I I will join the the hack session of the praise and the Vivid community call. And that's it. Yesterday we had uh, a, 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 another event from in Colombia, and it went well. I didn't advertise it as much as I have advertised previous ones, but uh, yeah, it went well, and everything going well. I will pass to certain. Thank you, Juan. Oh, I'm super excited about the meeting in Paris. Yeah, I, I already want to finish this call to go and telling to Sam. <laughs> yeah, uh, for the weekend, uh, yeah, chilling and uh, yeah, playing some video games, chill, rest, and yeah, I also be joining the the Impact Hours and the Params Party that's after it. So yeah, and I'll pass it to Santi. Thank you, Septi. Uh, uh, first, Grief, can you share that link for that conference in Paris? I want to take a look at that. And for the weekend, I'm going to try to rest for for at least one of the two days. I need to rest a little bit. I'm, I'm approaching a new project, the movie NFT project next week, which is going to be on the press because the movie is coming out and views with the NFT stuff because the people on we don't know shit about NFTs. <laughs> So it's going to be fun, but it's going to be a little exhausting too. So I want to try to relax a little bit and and maybe bike, hopefully bike a little bit too. So that those are the plans for the weekend. And I'll pass it, um, maybe break. Yeah, thanks, Santi. Can you hear me? Yeah. Cool. Uh, a good place to stay. Oh, actually, um, nope. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Two two seconds. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Like five minutes. Sorry. <laughs> oh man. Uh, as you can see, uh, things are busy. Um, weekend. It's a hot, long holiday weekend here in the states. So. Uh, and also, uh, I'm in charge of the kids for the next like five days. So. Uh, if I seem gone, it's because I am. <laughs> and I will do fun stuff, probably involving water and um, maybe some TEC work, uh, if I can squeeze it in. And yeah, that's all. I'll pass it to Nate. Yeah, I got a bunch of, bunch of work this week and... and... That's what I'll be doing. So, nothing much outside of that, but yeah, just working, working. I will pass it to Septi. Oh, I already went. I'll pass it to Ivy. Thanks, Zep. Uh, I'm planning to just uh, read a book and maybe work a bit on the on our career content and uh, yeah, read the. Uh, Post the forum posts that um Mitch shared with me. So yeah, I'm planning to uh yeah take uh, give it a try to make some third content strategy and see what I can do for that. So yeah, and I pass it to Tree. 
Thank you, Ivy. Um, well, I was thinking of, uh, yeah, doing that, just resting like this, this weekend. Uh, probably still a good idea, just like stay and, and watch a bunch of movies. But two weekends ago, I like deep dive in a lot of uh, uh, DC related stuff. And, and it, it was great and it helped me uh, catch up with a lot of stuff. So I think if uh, like I, I might do something similar this this weekend. So uh, I just wrote to uh, Acid Laser, and he just got back to me. He'll give it a shot to the uh, to the T-shirt design. Uh, he has some experience, like with musicians, merch, and stuff like that. So uh, I think he's gonna do a a, a great job. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably just spend the weekend like uh, like uh, onboarding him, and also talking to uh, Escanor about like uh, stuff like that. And and yeah, I think uh, uh, this this next print uh, is gonna be. Uh, exciting to uh uh just have like new 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 talent uh contributing uh, yeah i guess that's going to be this weekend i pass it to uh griff uh oh wait you already went i think that's it right yeah the last one yeah yeah i'm the last one um you know, tomorrow morning we have some plans with family and friends and a big lunch and sort of like basically from the morning to the early afternoon. It's that kind of stuff, which um, has to be done. But I'm a little bit like there's so much other stuff I want to do than have a big lunch, which is weird because normally I like that. Um, and this weekend, I'm, there's a few things I want to do. Like Ivy, I have two books that I'm really interested in sitting down with for a few hours. So maybe I'll have time to do one of those. And I'm trying to organize my summer plans. So this, um, my plan was originally to spend some time in the States after my children, uh, they have part of the summer with their father. So I was like, okay, that's my time to go to the States. Uh, but now this thing in Paris is sort of throwing that like a wrench into those plans because it's like exactly in the middle of the, the time. So I'm trying to try to see how I can organize that. And I decided to get, um, to take the test for my French license. Uh, I have a New York driver's license, but not a French one yet. So uh, it's just, you have to memorize all the signs that they have and then answer some dumb questions. So I'm gonna start the process of like, just studying to pass that and hopefully be able to get it by uh, the end of the summer. And that's it. And connect acid laser, is that his name? Chewy, can I? Can you connect him with me so I can let him know what our fulfillment center uh, product catalog looks like and maybe even create a designer uh, account for him yes. on our fulfillment center so he can design yes, the of website course. itself. Cool, sweet. All right, this was excellent. Thanks everyone. We're uh, ending a little early, so enjoy your Fridays.